मैक्सिमा एंड मिनिमा देखो दिस इज अ कर्व वाई एंड एक्स ठीक है यहां पे दिस इज अ फंक्शन दिस इज अ फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ एक्स राइट पे अटेंशन ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल दीज ग्रीन डॉट्स ऑल दीज ग्रीन डॉट्स आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग a value higher than their neighboring values yes or no the value mm -hmm. of y for a given value of x the name it is greater than the neighboring value of y yes or no yes and all these red dots are representing a value isko thoda sa theek se banate hain ruko zara so this is the curve ठीक है अब ठीक है ये तो दिस ग्रीन डॉट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रॉम देयर बाय द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एज कंपेयर टू द नेबरिंग वैल्यूज एंड दीज रेड डॉट्स आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ वैल्यूज लोअर देन द नेबरिंग वैल्यूज क्लियर है सबको यस सर नाउ यस नाउ सो दीज आर कॉल्ड These are called maximas. क्या बोलते हैं इसको बोलते हैं दीज आर कॉल्ड एज लोकल मैक्सिमाज वॉट डू वी कॉल दम लोकल मैक्सिमाज एंड द रेड डॉट्स आर कॉल्ड एज लोकल मिनिमाज क्लियर यस ऑनो लोकल मैक्सिमा लोकल मिनिमा ठीक है नाउ एमंग्स द मैक्सिमाज द हायर मैक्सिमा द मैक्सिमा विच इज ग्रेटर देन इज इज मैक्सिमम एमंग्स द मैक्सिमाज is called as this maxima is called as global maxima kya bolte hain isko global maxima got it the minima amongst the minimum values so in this case it is this value is global minima Yes or no? This is global minima. I hope all of yes, you sir. got it. Clear? Anybody is having any doubt in this? Please ask. No doubts? No sir. Anushka ko no, koi sir. doubt, Tamakna ko koi doubt, no doubts, right? No sir. Now what we will do here is, what we will do here is, we will draw. tangent to the curves here tangent at the point of maximas and minimas can we draw it of course yes we can draw it see yes or no let's draw these tangents as green lines and for maxima let's draw the tangent as green lines and for minimas draw the tangent as red lines tangent to the curve yes or no so these all these points are tangent all these lines are tangent to the curves right yes sir these are tangents drawn at maximas and minimas clear now the question arises
the question arises that how to use it. Now I have y as a function of x. I have some y as a function of x. Okay. How to find the values of x? How to find that? How to find the values of x for which the value of y attains a maximum or a minimum value. How to find the values of x for which the value of y attains a maximum or minimum value. This is the first question which we should think or answer when we are discussing maxima or minima. So all of you can see that when the curve attains a maximum or a minimum value, you can see here that when the curve attains a maximum or a minimum value, the slope of the tangent drawn to the curve is zero. Yes or no? Tamagra? Yes, sir. So, so what is the slope of the tangent here? How to find slope of the tangent? So I'll write the answer to this question is when the slope of the sorry when the curve attains a maximum a maxima or a minima when the curve attains a maxima or a minima the slope of the tangent drawn to the curve becomes zero. Understood or not? Do you agree to this or not, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes. Sure? The tangent uh, sir, drawn... I have... Sorry? Uh, I have a doubt. Haan, puchu. So, when the curve is uh, attaining a maxima or a minima, only that exact point becomes uh, zero, right? Not that point becomes zero. The slope of the tangent drawn to the curve becomes zero. You know slope of the tangent or not? Yes, sir. The angle which the tangent makes, the tan of the angle which the tangent yes. makes with the horizontal, right? Yes. Here, you can see that the tangents are parallel to x-axis. Yes or no? Yes. So since the tangents are parallel to x axis, so we can easily say that, so we can easily say that the slopes are zero. Theta yes. is zero, na? Yes, sir. So how we will write it mathematically? Y prime, that is f prime x, which is dy by dx, is equal to zero. Got it or not? Yes, sir. All of you. Anushka yes. ko samaj aya nahi aya? Yes. Ab, second step is what? Solve the equation obtained in the first step. Theek hai? And find the values of x. for which y attains either a maximum value or a minimum value. Got it? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Magna. Yes, sir. Ha. So now what is the next step? After this, what will happen? So we have some roots of so f dash x is equal to 0, 
will have some roots of x as x1, x2, x3 and so on. Got it? Now comes the third point. Now comes the third point. Now how will you tell for which value of x y will attain a maxima or which value of x y will attain a minima? How will we tell that? See here, all of you pay attention. Just see a maxima, huh? observe a maxima. Let's go to next slide. This is a curve near its maxima. Pay attention all of you. This is the tangent drawn. Okay. Now draw the tangent. Draw the tangent just before this point. Draw the tangent to the curve just before this point. What is the slope of this tangent? Tell me. Is it? This angle is acute or not? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And tan of acute angle, tan theta is positive or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tan theta is positive? Is greater than zero. Now, from this point, from positive slope, it becomes a zero slope. And then when I draw the tangent at the point just after O, then when I draw the tangent of the point just after O, right? What is happening? Can you see? The slope of this tangent is what? This is an obtuse angle. Yes or no? Yes, sir. This is an obtuse angle. And tan of 5 will be what? Less than 0. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just a, just a second. Huh? You All of you, copy this quickly. I have a call to attend. I'll give you. Hey, all of you, understood or not? Where were I? Yes. Where was I? Ha, yaha tha main. So, yes. can you see here that the slope is changing? Ye, uh, Tamagna, you understood why tan phi is negative? Yes, sir. Second quadrant mein tan is negative, right? Yes, sir. Phi is obtuse angle, so 180 degrees se bada hai, sorry, 90 yes. se bada hai. So, that's why it is negative. So, the slope is changing from, see, what was the slope? How do you write the slope? You write the slope as dy by dx, right? The slope is changing from positive to zero to negative, right? That means that means the change in the value of slope is negative. Yes or no? negative First, it was positive. Then what was added to it to become zero? Negative. Something negative would have been added to it to make it zero. Yes or no? For example, you have say one crore rupees. It has to come to 0 rupees. How will you do it? You will add negative 1 crore to your account. Negative 1 crore is again withdrawing 1 crore from your account. Yes or no? Yes. So you added some negative term to cancel that positive term. Yes or no? So we say that. So we say that. How do we know this? So what you do is you see the change in dy by dx again. What was dy by dx? Tamagna? What was dy by dx? This was, I'll write it. Wait. It is change in the value of dependent variable with respect to 
a very small change in the value of independent variable yes or no yes sir sorry ha huh, independent variable and what is this d2y by dx2 it is change in the value of dy by dx hai ki nahi for a very small change in the value of x yes or no understood or not so we have to differentiate it once more so that is called as second differentiation what do we call it either we call it as double differentiation or second differentiation got it just a second ha huh? someone is there at the door i'll हाँ. आवाज आ रही मेरी हेलो यस सर आ रही है ना तो ये क्लियर है तुमको अभी दिस इज क्लियर टू यू यस और नो डी टू वाई बाई डी एक्स टू तमगना इज इट क्लियर टू यू आर नॉट यस सर नाउ अनुष्का तुमको क्लियर है बेटा so if this change in value of dy by dx for a very small change in the value of x is negative is less than 0 what is the point in between is it a maxima or a minima maxima yes so if d2y by dx2 is less than 0 then then y attains a maxima then y attains a maxima that's it <coughs> for understood or not samagra anushka samajh aaya beta nahi aaya yes sir yes sir So if d two y by d x two is less than zero, it is also written here for a particular x, for a particular x, जो root हमने निकाला था पीछे है ना? So then y attains a maxima at that. x clear all of you yes sir anushka ko samajh aaya ki nahi aaya hai anushka pakka beta clarity yes. hai sir shabash ab dekho isi mein ulta karte hain minima dhoondte hain theek hai kam so this is the minima wala part this is the minimum value Now, if I draw the tangent at this point, this is how it looks like. Sorry. This is the tangent, right? Now, just before it, draw a tangent just before this point. 
you can see that you can see that the angle which it makes with this is say theta so tan theta is what less than zero yes or no yes sir. and then it becomes zero and then what does it become just after it it becomes positive see sin phi and tan phi is greater than zero right yes or no so so d2y now if what is happening the change in the value of slope that is d2y by dx2 is greater than zero you are adding some positive thing to a negative thing then only it will become negative positive yes or no so if this is there for a particular x then y attains a minima at that x clear hai samajh aaya yes sir likho pehle ye likho pehle idhar wala likho fir usko likhna hai theek hai that the next slide is the third step You are done writing it. Let me know, huh? Done? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Yes, sir. चलो इसको copy करो. This is step three.
चलो डन चलो लेट्स मूव अहेड हा लेट्स सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन दिस सपोज लेट्स टेक वन क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट दिस इज वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब प्लस माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस टू यू हैव टू फाइंड the maxima maximum and minimum values of y theek hai so tell me tamagna what is the first step what should we do in the first step check you in your notebook and tell me what do you, what will you do in your first step yes sir uh, sir we have to find uh, that uh, y prime uh, is equal to f prime of x is equal to dy by dx that sir. is dy by dx we have to find yes. dy by dx can you differentiate it tamagna the first differentiate this function with respect to x can you do it Ah uh, yes, sir. This way. So just tell me. Either see it, see here and do it. Don't touch your pen and paper. X cube, x to the power n. So what is differentiation of x cube? Ah, uh, that will be ah uh, three x to the power of three minus x. Two. Yes. Three x square minus three remains three. What yes. is differentiation of x square? Ah. Uh, two x raised to one. Yes. So two x, yes, right? Sir. Yeah. Plus, what is differentiation of two? Two. It's a constant, so zero. Yes. Differentiation of constant is zero. Zero. So, yeah. and we equated to what? The first step we equated to zero. So we get three x square minus six x is equal to zero, or we get x into x minus two is equal to zero. So we have two roots of x now, for which this equation is zero. X one yes. is zero, and x two is two. Understood. Yes. Both of you understood this. Uh, so how is that x two yes. becoming two? Sorry. How is that x two becoming two? अरे. Either this will be equal to zero or this will be equal to zero. Yes or no? Yes. So if this is equal to zero, then x one becomes zero. This is the first root of it. Yes or no? Okay. And the second one is what? It's x minus two is zero. So we get yes, x two as what? Two. Okay, sir. Sir, here uh, out of the bracket three x. Yeah, out of the bracket is three x. Why cancel it with zero? That's why I didn't write it. Anyways, no worries. Mm -hmm. So we have two roots now. What is the next step? What is the next step? Dy by d two. Dy ah, by. Ah, very good. The... We have done first and second step, right? Ah, uh, this was the second step. Solving. Third step is we will find double derivative d two y upon d x two. So differentiate which function? This function. Differentiate this function again. So d two y upon d x two is what? Differentiate this function. It becomes six x minus six. Yes or no? Six x minus one. Clear or not? All of you. Yes. Now. Check for x is e x one is equal to zero. What is the value of? Let's write this as y double prime. This is nothing but y double prime. For x one is equal to zero, what is y double prime? Substitute the value of x one as x as zero here. So minus it is six, six minus six, right? So it is less than zero. Yes or no? So yes. check the condition. When it is less than zero, negative. It is less than zero. That is negative. Then y is maxima at that x. Got it? So I'll write it here. Since y double prime is negative at x is equal to zero, therefore 
y attains a maxima at x is equal to 0. Following this, what we get? Maximum value of y is equal to, put the value of x as 0, it becomes 2. Got it or not? Substitute the value of x as 0 in this equation. Tamagna, Anushka, understood or not? Yes. Yes, sir. Now, let's check for the second value. What is that second value? x2. So, fourth is, so the same step, third a hai ye. This is 3a tha, this is 3b. Now, we have y pro double prime, right? For for x2 is is equal to 2 what is y double prime it is plus 6 yes or no which is greater than 0 so since y double prime is positive at x is equal to 2 therefore y isko band karo darwaze ko y attains a minimum minima at x is equal to 2. So, kya aya yaha se? Y minima is what? Substitute the value of x as 2. So, 2 cube minus 12 plus 2. So, minus 2. I hope both of you got this answer. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Tamagna, understood or not? Copy it quickly. Chalo bhai. Understood or not? Done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. So, this is a direct equation based question. Chik hai? Now, let's solve a statement based problem. The statement goes like this Suppose the profitability of a company, of a company, is related to the sleeping factor s of 
the employees given by the equation p profitability is equal to profitability is p ha huh? is equal to s cube minus 4x square plus 3 theek hai find the optimum find the value of sleeping factor for which the profitability of the firm company becomes maximum got it understood the question try solving it how will you do it it simply you have to follow the steps but see how we can relate to it right how we can put it in words and put it in different situations how you can use it in practical Yes. Once you are done, just let me know. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. Tamagna done, beta. Ah uh, no, sir. You are doing it. Still doing it. Yes, sir. Okay, do it with me now. First thing is we will find p dash or p prime. What is that? This is dp by ds, right? what is the what is it how will you solve it differentiation you know differentiation right differentiate it individually what is differentiation of s cube tamagna yes sir what is it sir uh, 3s to the power of 2 uh, 2 माइनस फोर एक्स स्क्वायर में क्या होगा फोर रिमेन्स फोर एक्स स्क्वायर डिफरेंशिएशन इज व्हाट टू एक्स सो इट इज एट एस यस सॉरी दिस इज एस हाँ माय बैड हाँ माय बैड सो दिस इज एस थ्री इज जीरो डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ थ्री जीरो नाउ वी इक्वेटेड टू जीरो सो वी हैव एस वन एस व्हाट एस वन एस जीरो एंड एस टू एस एट ओवर थ्री य Yes. Now, second, first, second done. We will find p double dash now. I got confused in the third step only. I did it in this much. 
Okay, let's do it here. It becomes 6s minus 8. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now for P double dash, when S1 is, when S is 0, what is it? Minus 8, right? Yes. P double dash, when S is 8 by 3, is what? Substitute its value, it becomes plus 8, right? Yes. Hmm. It becomes plus 8. So for which one of these two value, it will attain a maximum value. P, P will attain a maximum value for minus 8, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Since, since P double dash is equal to minus 8, that is less than 0, for S is equal to 0, therefore P will be maximum at s is equal to 0. What is s is equal to What is p now? p is for s 0. What is p now? 3. 3. So maximum profitability is 3 and sleeping is 0. So if the employees will not sleep in, in the work, the profitability of the company will be maximum. Got it? Yes or no? This is how you do it. Ek aur karoge? Copy kiya? Tamagna done? Okay. Now, the question is, the perimeter of a rectangle, the perimeter of, or let's write, the perimeter of a rectangle is 120 meters okay find the dimensions dimensions matlab length and breadth of the rectangle for which it has a maximum area Karoge Aplo, Kimakaru. Makaru, Kiaplo Kare. Okay, Karo, do it. Once you are done, just let me know, huh?
Then all of you. So just give me two seconds. Okay. हाँ भाई डन ऑल ऑफ यू डन और नॉट हेलो सर आई एम नॉट एबल टू कंप्लीट दिस क्वेश्चन सी हाउ यू विल राइट इट इट इज हेलो यस सर यस ओके पे अटेंशन इट्स टू इनटू लेंथ प्लस ब्रेड इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी मीटर्स राइट सो लेंथ प्लस ब्रेड इज इक्वल टू व्हाट सिक्सटी मीटर्स Got it. One equation. Second equation is what? Area is equal to what? Length into breadth. Yes, sir. Now convert this this area. It has it has two variables now. L and B. Convert it into yes. any one variable. So what you will do is L into sixty minus L. Yes. So this is sixty L minus L square is area A. Now you differentiate A with respect to L. You get sixty. Minus two x. Yes, sir. Divided to zero, so you get L as what? Thirty meters. Got it? Yes, sir. Now, when you again differentiate it, what you get is minus two. It is already less than zero. Yes or no? So, for whatever value of L we have, the area is maximum for that value. Got it? And sir, no? but uh, if length is becoming thirty meters, then if it is the maximum area, then it is becoming a square, not a rectangle. Obviously, ah, so is a rectangle is a square. A square is a rectangle. Oh, okay, sir. A square is a rectangle. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is how we get the answer. Good. Chalo. So keep doing your homework. Move ahead in that particular section, right? Yes, sir. फिर मिलते हैं, ठीक है? चलो, bye. Take care.